Flooding is no joke. It is going to destroy cities, it's going to destroy population centers, and it's a force that is evident now. We know it's here, it's not just coming in the future, it started already. The Storm Surge Working Group, its origins really started way back after Hurricane Katrina flooded New Orleans in 2005. And it occurred to me at that time that New York City was very exposed to the ocean. I called it a city at sea. That was a question not of if, but when the city would be flooded. Seven years later, we were hit by Superstorm Sandy. That created a firestorm of publicity for Stony Brook and this new group that we'd put together. We'd been meeting by Zoom over the last couple of years, and this is the first time in two years that we've actually physically got together. We incorporate students at Stony Brook, both undergrads and graduates, as best we can, and I think it's a very valuable learning experience for them, the next generation. I'm from Brooklyn. I experienced Superstorm Sandy when I was 12. I was you know, thrown out of school and it flooded, and so it really affected me and my family. So coming back around when I was 19, 20, and really seeing people still tackling that issue that I witnessed, um, it was really eye-opening for me, and I, I thought it was a great opportunity to get involved in something that really impacted my life um, to make others' lives better. Our goal is to try and get the leaders of the city, the state, and even the nation to really take this concept of regional protection seriously because everybody thinks they have their own solution, so everybody thinks they're in charge, but in fact, as the New York Times reported, nobody is in charge. It's been nine years since Sandy destroyed much of the coastal area of New York and New Jersey. And in those nine years since Sandy, there has been no regional plan to protect the people of New York and New Jersey from the next Sandy. I think today went really great. I think they really articulated their points wisely. And there was a lot of different perspectives that were shown as far as housing, as far as infrastructure plans. To see that people are still really tackling the issue and really getting to the meat of it is inspiring. I think, I hope it inspired media and other city advocates today as well. To grab this problem and all its dimensions and its complexities, which are not just engineering, I mean, they're political, they're social, economic. How long do we want the city to last? That's the fundamental question before we are forced to start retreating to higher ground. Storms are getting more frequent and they're getting stronger and more devastating. We're going to have a disaster unless we respond efficiently, effectively, based on science, based on engineering, and we find solutions that truly protect people, our communities, and our way of life.